Moving on, we have question four. Methanol. Now, you don't need to know that this is called methanol um, just yet. So this is the formula. And ammonia, NH3, both have central atoms with four electron pairs. One of these has a trigonal pyramidal shape and the other has a trigonal planar shape. Um, match the molecule with their correct shapes and explain why they have different shapes. That's supposed to say shape here. That's okay. Um, all right, so I think I'm going to start by actually determining which one has which shape. I'm just going to do it on the side. So if we think about H2CO, um, hydrogen will want to form one covalent bond, carbon wants four, and oxygen wants two. So in the case of H2CO, you're probably going to end up with something like this. Okay, so that is, I think, the trigonal planar. And NH3, now nitrogen one, three bond, so that's where the three hydrogens will be linked to. And then it has a lone pair of electrons. So this one's going to be trigonal pyramidal. Okay, so because this question actually asks you to explain the different shapes, you're going to have to talk about VSEPR and you need to mention um, the difference between electron geometry and molecular geometry. So I think I'm going to start with identifying the central atoms. Actually, I think I'm going to start with VSEPR. So according to VSEPR pair of electrons around the central atom this is actually quite boring watching me doing this we would arrange to be as far apart as possible. Okay, so we're going to start with the case of uh, methanol. So in methanol, you can use the formula of you want. It's okay. So in H2CO, um, there are two bonding pair. Oh, actually, there are three sets of bonding pairs. I'm going to say a set of bonding pair because you want to emphasize the fact that... Um, okay. Actually, let's change that, that language a little bit. And I just accidentally arrange... Okay. There are... Okay, one double bond and two single bond, single covalent bond around carbon. So it will take Um, the shape, trigonal planar. In ammonia, okay, this is this is when I'm going to use blown pair and running pairs. We actually prefer to, but it's prefer to do, but it's a little bit hard to do it for the this one because of. The double bond, I mean, how would I call that? Two bonding pairs in a... You can, probably can call it two bonding pairs in a double bond. So there are three bonding pair. And one lone pair. Around nitrogen. So the electron geometry
is tetrahedral. In the shape. Not counting the lone pair. Would be. Is um, trigonal pyramidal. All right, so something like that would do. It sometimes it's a little bit of a pain to explain why the shape is what it is, but you definitely want to talk about what well, you have to have some reference to VS API and the fact that they want to arrange the VS far apart as possible, and you also want to identify the different pairs of electrons around the central atom, which leads to its shape. Definitely want to mention the difference between electron geometry and molecular geometry in the case of NH3. So that's it.